Okay. Uh, Follow-on question, and, and, and again, a nice segue. Uh, with the current status of ships in Japan, are there going to be any home port shifts happening in the near future? And along those lines, you know, what is the state of uh, Navy manning, especially in our surface fleet? Uh, will we see our ships being manned to their original manning size? And that's uh, uh, from Chief uh, Echeverry, also kind of echoed by uh, Pereira uh, Thandui and Overton. And uh, l let me tell you how this works. Uh, we are constantly looking around the world uh, and and we compare it to our Navy to figure out what is the best place to home port or forward deploy our ships. And uh, that will continue to be the case. It's uh, very responsive to the strategic uh, needs of the Navy and the nation. You know, where can we best exercise our mission? And that's a process called the strategic laydown process that will continue to assess that environment and, and make changes as we go. Uh, when we do those changes, we owe it to you to make sure that the manning piece is there, that the maintenance uh, capability is there, so that when a ship moves from one home port to the next, you know, it is fully supported from a manning and infrastructure and maintenance standpoint. And so we'll get out in front of that as far as we can. We'll make sure that anybody who may be involved in a home port shift is uh, well informed, their families are taken care of, and we'll uh, proceed from there. But. Uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary right now in terms of home port shifts uh, foreseen on the horizon, uh, but we continue to assess uh, based on just changes in the in the strategic environment. Okay, next slide.